So my name is Connor Monahan. I'm a designer with uh, Microsoft Studios on uh, Crimson Dragon here. Let's start by talking a little about the lineage of this game and, and how it connects back to maybe some classic games that gamers are familiar with, like Panzer Dragoon. So basically, Crimson Dragon is a new IP that's being developed by two studios out of Japan, Grounding and Landho. And uh, the team at Grounding is led by Yukio Furusugi, who was the former creative director for Panzer Dragoon as well as Phantom Dust. So the teams there have a lot of experience in the genre, and their combined talent and experience is bringing the genre of rail shooters to the next generation with Crimson Dragon. What has Xbox One opened up when it comes to the genre of rail shooters? So what we've been able to do with this on the Xbox One hardware is have the ability to deliver an improved graphical fidelity. Uh, one of the things the team had access to when they were first developing the game was seeing how much more they could add. Uh, it, the game looks beautiful when you play it. And for the title that we're, for the game that we're making, we're a downloadable, a downloadable digital title for $19.99 on the Xbox Live Marketplace. And we believe that the value that we're giving for that amount of money is incredible in terms of the music, uh, the visual fidelity of the game, the scale of it all. That's something that's been able, uh, we've been able to do because of the Xbox One platform. We've also been able to implement uh, Kinect controls as well. So the game was designed as a Kinect game, and we've actually added a hybrid system based on fan feedback. Uh, we've added a controller uh, co uh, functionality back into it as well. So you still have the great feel of having a controller in your hands. Using the Xbox One controller, you get impulse triggers. The controller kicks back against your hands as you're playing and shooting. Uh, you can still get the great tactile feel of using the buttons, but we also are able to use the physicality of the Kinect. So as you're playing the game, if you move to the right or the left in a lean fashion, the dragon will actually roll for you doing dodge rolls. And so what we want is to have the Kinect make a complimentary experience to the controller, overall making it better, but you can still just play the game with the controller. Can you talk a little about the structure of the game, its size, and some of the different environments? Yeah, absolutely. So Crimson Dragon is our rail shooter we have uh, about 26 different missions in the game. So we're going across multiple different geographical locations on the world of Draco. Draco is the planet the game takes place on. It's a planet that's inhabited by dragons. Uh, these dragons are being affected by a virus called Crimson Scale. And Crimson Scale is making these creatures more violent, more aggressive. And so the humans who have come to Draco and colonized it are trying to cope with that. And the humans themselves are being affected by Crimson Scale. So people who have survived the virus infecting them now have the ability to commune with dragons. And so that means that you as the player are a dragon rider and you're on the back of these incredible beasts and you can go through the world of Draco. And so in the game, uh, we have our typical kind of rail shooter layout. You're moving through the level in a directed experience. You're gonna be fending off uh, waves of enemies. It's a really exciting time. And we have different objectives throughout the game that will change up what skills you're using, uh, the different challenges you'll see. And on top of that, as you uh, go through these different sections of the game, you're being graded, you're being ranked to see how well you're completing against these tasks. And if you're doing well and you're a very skilled player, you're going to be earning experience as well as credits in the in-game system. So you'll be able to level up your dragon, make it more powerful over time. And that is how our RPG system in the game works. So you're leveling up your dragon, it's increasing its stats, it's becoming more agile, it has more health, it can move faster. And all these things help us give the players a feeling that they are getting better, that they can take on these larger, more fearsome creatures as you move through the different sections of Draco. And that is also a great way for the players to be able to go back, play earlier sections of the game with a more powerful dragon, and just kind of start power leveling through, getting higher scores, competing with their friends online through leaderboards and that sort of thing. And it just makes for a more engaging experience. When it comes to upgrades, can you talk a little about how, how that works within the uh, dragons and weapons? So in the game, we have about 18 different dragons you can play, uh, and these are different evolutions of dragons. So they are going to be uh, upgraded through different rare drops you'll find in the game. These rare drops come from when you destroy enemy uh, swarms of creatures, and these drops will allow you to level up or evolve your dragon. So they're going to change physically, they're going to become larger, they're going to have horns growing out, they're going to have uh, physical attributes change. So one of the dragons in our game actually has his wings engulfed in flames by the end of the game as you level him up. Uh, it's also changing the base stats, so they're becoming uh, faster as I was saying. You have defense, you have life, you have attack, all these things are improving over time. And you can also change the element of your dragon. So we have an elemental system in Crimson Dragon, and what that uh, means is that we have a fire attribute, a wind attribute, and a light attribute. And they interact in such a way that fire does more damage to wind, wind does more damage to light, and light does more damage to fire. So when you go into a mission, you have to anticipate, okay, what 
creatures am I going to encounter? Are they going to be wind-based? Okay, then that means I want to bring a fire dragon with me so I can do that extra damage. So it's all about increasing the power of your dragon, selecting the right skill for the job, and bringing a dragon that will have the best chance of surviving and doing well. And the way that you do that is through unlocking new dragons and also unlocking new skills. We have 90 different skills in the game, and these are your weapons. So you'll have weapons that can lock onto enemies, uh, weapons that will be like lasers, vision weapons that can attack multiple targets at once, and then your typical cannon. It's hard, uh, hard hitting, fast moving, projectile based weapon.